Hello, this is Barbara at Sunshine Au Pair, and I'm here today with Linda with our top three tips for your Au Pair year together. Linda is a four times host mum, moderator of the highly regarded Au Pair in the Netherlands Facebook group, and also regular advisor for the Au Pair Info website. So thank you very much for joining us today, Linda. Would you like to thank share you your welcome. top three tips with us? Yes. Uh, my number one, and it's really on number one, is respect the rules. And that sounds harsh, but it's for both parties. And what I see going wrong is mostly if you don't respect the rules about hours, so maximum 30 hours per week, eight hours a day, or the au pair duties. That is not like household tasks, but really also way other tasks or too much tasks. So please respect the rules. Um, number two, be ready to teach as a host family. Au pair is not like a professional in housekeeping or childcare, and they don't know your household or what you have in your kitchen. So please teach them how to use everything or how to do everything and make time for that. Um, so the first weeks are most important to teach your au pair how you want things done. So then you don't have any discussions later. And number three, be sensitive about cultural differences, especially regarding the way that we are communicating and give feedback. As Dutch people, we are very direct in our feedback, like, oh, you missed this, or you did that, or uh, please do this. Um, and then we think, oh, yeah, well, we said please. Yeah, but <laughs> please sit down and just ask them if everything is okay, and maybe you can show them again this or that. That's totally different than la 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 what we do normally as Dutch people <laughs> yeah. and it can be quite offensive to another person so we have to watch ourselves <laughs> good points Linda yeah and a few words of praise do go a long way as well um yeah, yeah. first and a job well done yes and lastly it's important to remember that most problems can be worked out by talking them through and that's what we as an agency are here to help with so we're here to mediate if necessary for both hosts and au pairs um, and offer the support that's needed. Um, so rematching, my advice is just don't rush into it too quickly. It certainly shouldn't be the first go-to decision because it can result in losses for both parties and a lot of stress as well for everyone. So it really should be a last resort when all other efforts of communication have failed. Like in every relationship, um, the au pair and host relationship can be worked on to ensure that there's a happy, full and successful year together. So that was our top tips. Thank you for listening. <laughs> we hope that these tips have been helpful and uh, we wish you a successful year. <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs>